वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू क्लास थ्री मैथ्स लेसन थ्री सब्सट्रैक्शन सेशन थ्री पॉइंट थ्री इन दिस सेशन वी विल डू सब्सट्रैक्शन विद बोरोइंग लेट एस टेक एन एग्जाम्पल सब्ट्रैक्ट फोर थ्री सेवन फ्रॉम एट सिक्स फोर राइट द नंबर सेंटेंस एंड चेक योर आंसर नाउ फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन वी विल राइट एट सिक्स फोर ऑन द टॉप Why? Because from this number we have to subtract four thirty-seven, and if you see simply, you will write the bigger number on top. So we will write the place values, then eight sixty-four. After that, minus four thirty-seven below it. Now, when we write like this, we have to ensure that the numbers are written according to the place value. We will start with the ones column. Since we cannot subtract seven ones from four ones, so we will break up the tens. That is the six. This six we will break up, and when we take out one tens, that is six, we will cancel and write five. The one tens that has come out from there, when it comes to the ones column, it will become ten ones. Ten ones plus four ones will give us fourteen. So we will cut four and write fourteen on top. Fourteen minus seven will give us seven. Then in the tens column we have five minus three, which will give us two. In the hundreds column we have eight minus four, which will give us four. So our answer becomes four twenty-seven. In this question we also had to write the number sentence. So in number sentence form it will be eight sixty-four minus four thirty-seven is equal to four twenty-seven. Now checking part can be done in two ways. The first with addition and second is with subtraction. Now first we will do checking of subtraction with addition. So this was what we had solved. Now we have to check this. We have to check this using addition. So we will add four thirty seven and four twenty seven. When we add, we should get the answer as eight sixty four. So we will write the place values. We will write four thirty seven plus four twenty seven. When we add, we get eight sixty four. That means our calculation is correct. Now the same thing can be checked by using subtraction. What you will do? You will write eight sixty four, and from that you will subtract four twenty seven. The answer that you should get should be four thirty seven. So again, we'll write the place values. We will write eight sixty four on top, and we will subtract four twenty seven from it. When you subtract, you get the answer as four thirty-seven, which is same as the number here. That means our calculations are correct. Now, students, practice is very important. Let us do this worksheet to enhance our understanding further. Question one: Fill in the blanks. A part: three hundreds, seven tens, six ones minus three tens, eight ones. This is equal to Three hundreds, six tens, dash ones, minus three tens, eight ones. Now here the seven has become six. Okay, let's look at the next line. We have three hundreds, three tens, dash ones. So in the last line, you have to actually calculate and find the answer. B part, four hundreds, two tens, six ones, minus. Two hundreds, eight tens, three ones is equal to three hundreds dash ten six ones minus two hundreds eight tens three ones. Next line we have one hundreds dash tens dash ones. Now in both the questions, I want you to note here in the ones column we have six, and from that we have to minus eight. We cannot do that. That is why we have made this seven into a six. Okay. And taken out that one tens and given it to six ones, making it a bigger number here. Then you can subtract and find the answer. Similarly, in the tens column of the second question, you have two tens minus on the minus side. You have eight tens. From two, you cannot give eight, right? So you will have to borrow from the neighbor that is four hundreds. They have already given three hundreds here. That means one hundred has come to the tens column. And when it travels to the tens column, the hundred becomes ten tens. I've given you a good enough hint. 
Let us go to the next question now. Question 2. Subtract 583 minus 467. Question 3. 611 minus 347. Question 4. 403 minus 256. Question 5. You have to subtract and check your answer. 817 minus 438. Question 6. You have to fill in the boxes. This is an addition question. Okay. And question 7. You have to fill in the boxes. But this is a subtraction question. So be careful. Students, if you haven't done the questions yet, please go back in the video, see the questions, note them in your copy, solve them and after that only should you look at the solutions. Now this was our first question. The 7 when it becomes 6, 1 tenths is removed from here and it goes to the 1's column. And we already had the 6 here, so this becomes 16. Okay. Now from this 16 ones, you can subtract 8 ones. So you get 8. 16 minus 8 is 8. Then from 6 tenths, you can subtract 3. 6 minus 3 is 3 tenths. 3 tenths and 3 hundreds is already given to us. Now this was the B part. Now 6 ones and 3 ones. That can be subtracted no problem. From 2 tenths there was a problem to subtract 8 tenths. So we borrowed from the neighbor that is hundreds. This has become 3 hundreds. 100 goes to the tenths place adds on with the 2 tenths already there and becomes 12 tenths. And then in the next line we see the subtraction. 3 ones and 6 ones. So 3 ones will come 6 minus 3 is 3. Then 12 tenths minus 8 tenths, 12 minus 8 is 4, so 4 will come here. Then we already have 3 hundreds minus 2 hundreds is 100. This is given to us. Question 2 was 583 minus 467. To subtract, we'll have to start with the 1's column. But from 3, you cannot subtract 7. So we will go to the 10's column, cut the 8 and write 7 on top. The 1 tenths that we have taken will go to the 1's column. Here we already have 3. So 10 plus 3, 13 ones. We will write 13 on top. 13 minus 7 gives us 6. Then we come to the 10's column. 7 minus 6 gives us 1. And 5 minus 4 in the 100's column again gives us 1. So the answer is 116. Third question. We have 611 minus 347. Now, let's look at the 1's column. 1 minus 7, we cannot do. Let us borrow from the neighbor. We have 1 in the tens place. We cut that 1, write 0 there and bring this 1 here. 1 tens becomes 10 ones plus the 1 already here, 11 ones. So, we cut this 1 and write 11 on top. 11 minus 7 is 4. We write 4 there. Now, in the tens column, we have 0 minus 4. We cannot subtract 4 from 0. So we take from the neighbor. We cut 6, write 5. We cut the 0, write 10 on top. 10 minus 4, that gives us 6. 5 minus 3 gives us 2. So the answer is 264. Question 4. We look at the 1's column. 3 minus 6, not possible. We look at the neighbor. Neighbor is already 0. So from 0, what will you take? So we go to the 100's column. We cut the 4, write 3. And we cut the 0 again now and write 10 on top. Now we cut the 10, write 9 on top and bring this 1 10's to the 1's column. This becomes 10 1's. And there is a 3 here, so 13. So we cut the 3 and write 13 on top. 13 minus 6 gives us 7. Now we come to the tens column. Here we have now 9 minus 5. That gives us 4. Then the hundreds column we have 3 minus 2. That gives us 1. So the answer is 147. Question 5. 817 minus 438. Here I will share the answer directly. So when you subtract you will get the answer as 379. Now in the fifth question we also had to check our answer. We can do checking with any method. You could do it by addition, you could do it by subtraction. 
so here let us add these two numbers and when we add we should get the answer as 817 so we will add 438 and 379 438 plus 379 gives us 817 that means our calculation is correct now let us look at the sixth one fill in the boxes here we have a plus sign so 5 plus dash is equal to 3 so 3 is small so it should be 13 so assuming that it is 13 5 plus what will give us 13 we will subtract 5 from 13 and when we subtract 5 from 13 we get 8 so we will write 8 here 5 plus 8 will give us 13 and 1 we will write on top now 1 plus dash plus 1 is equal to 4 that means 2 plus one more number should give us 4 so that number will be 2 2 plus 2 is 4 so we will write 2 in this blank now 2 plus 4 is 6 so we will write 6 in the last box now this completes the sixth one let us look at the seventh one now here it is a subtraction question so let us look at the ones column dash minus 3 is equal to 8 so we will add 8 and 3 8 plus 3 is 11 so we will write 1 here and cut 5 make it 4 so that we have 11 on top okay now we have 4 here 4 minus dash should give us 2 4 minus 2 will give us 2 now we have to do in the hundreds column 5 minus 3 5 minus 3 is 2 so this brings us to the end of the worksheet until we meet again stay happy and keep learning